failing and you hate this company and you 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 leave bad reviews um but hey i got a sale right so that's the way people view it like they don't give a shit about you all they want you to do is help them um get a sale because that's how they make their money and they they, they literally and and then you know we have managed we had a couple of these places i worked at you got people that are reinforcing that like that's 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 the way they're so it's it's totally just a different world right it's a world of like snake oil salesmen and and um and leading you down a, a bad path of thinking it's like plausible deniability it's like well how come you didn't tell me this is how it worked well you didn't ask right you didn't ask right i didn't i didn't feel like i had to tell you that because i felt like it would have been harder to sell you if i told you that well, well no fucking shit right you know you, you, you want to tell me a very important piece of information about how this thing works after you've already gotten me to sign it. That, now, there's two different types of people. That there's, there's people that will fundamentally agree with me on that or people that will say, hey, man, I'm just trying to sell the guy. You know, he didn't ask the question. That's buyer beware. Well, I fucking totally disagree with you. You, If you want to be a decent fucking human being and a representative of an upstanding company, you definitely shouldn't have management telling you to, to basically withhold information and, you know, borderline lie to people about, don't tell them how, don't tell them this, don't tell them that, give them false data about the statistics, you know. So many people would use this product, and I'm sure it's the same with just garbage products in general. They would use, they would use the product with a different understanding than, than what the product actually was. And that was totally the fault of whoever they talked to for 30 minutes or an hour about how it worked, not setting the right expectations. And so, uh, so many people would be call in and just be suck, but just be so fucking mad. This isn't what I bought. This isn't what the guy told me I want to cancel. So that's what they think is like, you know, being a good salesman and getting a bunch of sales. Well, we, you know, they can't all stick. We just hope that we, you know, we, if we sign up, a, you know, we hope to sign up 30 people and we hope that 20 of them stick, you know, versus my strategy was, dude, I don't even want to fucking deal with the guys that don't understand how it works, right? I don't even want to deal with those guys. Why, why do I need to talk to someone who, who doesn't want to do it and has all these reservations about doing it and, you know, I don't want to do it. Other people would just slam. They'd say, well, we're just going to sign them up and because it's revenue and we're going to hope that we don't have any problems with it. So what you create is just a, a, a huge problem of pissed off people. And you have an account management problem because the sales guys, again, it's like me selling you a motorcycle at a dealership. I'm just concerned about selling you the motorcycle. You know, if you have any problems with the bike, like you need your wheel falls off or your your you know something happens i'm not responsible for dealing with that so i don't care the service department handles that right the same way with sales it's like i'm only concerned about getting a sale today because that's how i get my cash today and that's how i make my money and then i don't care how you do with the product i don't care about you know, making sure you have the right expectations or anything else after you've signed the fucking dotted line. And you could totally sense that was true. So all those guys are just consistently on the hunt and, you know, only worried about their bottom line, which is just human nature, right? It really is. And then what I was going to say about like commission type jobs is, you know, you're, you're, you're totally, they make the job like that for a reason, you know, cause they want, they want to, they want to reward people who are productive, but there's two different types of, you know, be, being productive. There's people that were just consistently selling way more than everyone else. And the reason the, the, the reason was, I mean, were they personable people? Yeah, sure. But did they have a did they have a way of telling you about the product in a way that you know didn't raise as many concerns? And um, 
and basically left out a lot of key information. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. So even though they even though they had some cancellations, the, the, you know, they signed up way more people than everyone else. And so imagine, you know, if you sign up for something and you're not happy with it, you're like, ah, oh, man, this fucking sucks. I don't like it. Ah, oh, shit, but I signed a contract, so I guess I have to honor it. But I fucking hate this this product and you know god damn it that sales guy he basically lied to me he didn't tell me all these these facts about how this thing worked but i'm too i'm not going to call in and complain about it i'll just i'll just take my medicine and pay and, and continue to pay my 300 dollars a month for six months or for a year or whatever it was right so there's a, i think the majority of people are like that there was a very small percentage of people that were actually happy based on my data and there was a lot of people who were upset who actually did call in but the majority of people were people who weren't getting a very good results with it and didn't say anything i mean imagine basically what this company was selling was you know oh we have someone's email that wants to buy a house well well we don't know if they want to buy a house we don't know if they want to buy a house and all we have is their email. So you told me to reach out to this person and they told me to fuck off. Like I send them an email and I tried to call them. Oh, that's another thing. They didn't have a phone number. So you said you said these leads were going to have phone numbers so that I could actually call the real person, you know, and say, hey, Mr. Jones, I, you know, I saw you were looking for a house over there in Seattle, Washington, and I'm a... I'm a, I'm a real estate agent and I've been in real estate for seven years right in that area or whatever and um, is there anything I could help you with you know I'd like to like to uh, I saw that you were looking for some homes there around 1500 square foot right in that neighborhood whatever neighborhood they were looking at Do, you know would you want to go take a tour what's or just getting to know them a little bit more right but a lot of people are like well i didn't i didn't know what i didn't know someone was going to call me i didn't want to talk to you don't call me stop calling me unsubscribe delete me from your call list you just paid 60 dollars for that <laughs> so yeah there's going to be a lot of pissed off people so i just felt shitty about doing that because i mean it would have been one thing if, if it worked like Hey man, you don't have to tell them all. You don't have to tell them all this stuff about how it works, because it just, it, you know, for the majority of people, man, this thing works. It just, it just wasn't the case. A lot of people were able to do it, though. You know, they don't care. They don't care. They have no, they have no moral, moral compass. Their moral compass is fucking. How much money can I make this month? And I don't care about, about, about uh. You know, I don't care about. Once, I, once I'm off the phone with you, I, I'm just trying to get what I can get out of you. You know, I can get $200 from you by selling you this package and, and getting, a, getting you to pay me this amount of money today to get everything set up. So, it, it's just not for me. Again, some people can do it, and I think that's how the majority of stuff is ran, which is kind of sad. That's why I know whenever I'm talking to a sales guy, it's just, God, you know. They really don't. Most of them really don't care. You're just another, you're just another person they can try to take advantage of. And you, you know, you would talk to a lot of these people. They were on because uh, these were real estate agents, but they were on their last dollar. I mean, they were, they they were, you know, trying to run a, a an independent their own independent real estate business with no, you know, they don't have any support from anyone else. So they're trying to generate marketing and lead generation by by themselves and so they don't have a lot of money you know a lot of these people did not have a lot of money and they were going to go with whatever sounded best right and so if you made it sound like this is going to be great for them and and uh answered their questions in a way that made them feel okay even though it wasn't a true answer then you were probably going to sell them and what do you care because Again, once they sign up, you're not talking to them again. You don't have to deal with that problem. You know, it's like people littering on the on the road. Well, it's just easier for me to throw it out the window. I'm not, I don't have to deal with it. Or it's just easier to dump all this fucking shit in the ocean. 
you know? <laughs> right? If you don't have to deal, it's like not shitting where you eat, right? You typically won't badmouth someone that lives in your own town or, or, or cause a scene in your own town, but if it's somewhere else and you're never gonna see him again, you know, you, you might do it. So it's just human nature, really. That's my take on it. Um, you know, I think if you get a good product that you're excited to talk about and that you really know works for the majority of people, then that's great. But when you when you have to compete against people who are lying or who are who are very who are walking the line of of being dishonest salespeople, it's hard to win when you're a when you're a relative you know not relatively when you're an ethical person. I mean, I think you're either an ethical person or you aren't. You can't really be in the middle on it. You're putting your own financial concerns ahead of everything else, which, hey, you got to realize a lot of these guys would say, well, hey, man, you're, in, you're a salesperson. You got to sell stuff. Well, yeah, but the way that you guys encourage people to sell stuff is not the way that I would ever want to buy something, right? <laughs> I mean, doesn't that make sense though? It's like, you, if you're gonna buy a product, you want to know that you want to know, you want to know. Of course, the price is important, right? But price doesn't really matter to a lot of people because we want to know what the value is. Like, what are the features I'm getting? What is what you know? What what features am I getting? What's the investment 